What's up everybody? Uh, I'm making this because I need your help. I need prayers. I need something. I'm constantly under attack. I'm having a hard time accepting my calling, fate, destiny, my job. Sorry about this smoking, but I'm a frazzled mess. For everybody that's seen my other videos, you know, I've seen heaven. I stood close enough to the glory of God that my face glowed. And uh, lately, when I talk to him, <laughs> he just answers. He's that close. This is that important. This is that real. But he's real. The opposite has to be real too. The other night I was attacked. And for everybody that don't believe in this, you might as well start. I've been getting dreams from our father. I haven't posted none of them. I've mentioned them in passing. But I really think part of them was me. I'm supposed to post them. I'm trying not to do this too much. My phone bill in two days is $643. The only way I have to do all this is through my phone. But I also know that within two days, it'll show up. Uh, my son's life is in danger, real danger. I keep getting these dreams from him, from our father, about a certain person in my life that is just here to bring nothing but death. She won't be around much longer, but I think the damage is already done. My son has Lyme disease, and uh, he's already not too healthy. He's getting better. He's kind of back to his old self, but he got it really, really bad. I'll make a video about that to the fake doctor at Bloomsburg, who spoke to my child like he was dealing with a monkey in a lab. Clicking, rubbing, twisting his arms around. And then when I searched his name, he told me he's, he was in Lyme, Connecticut. When it first came out, he's been dealing with it for 30 years with Lyme disease. Which nobody knows where it came from. Our government made it. Search it. Uh, except when I searched him, no pictures, no awards, no certifications. Says he's a student. He's been a doctor for 30 years, but the only thing I could find online about him is that he's a student. Oh, and he was either Polish or Russian. So When I called, the lady at the desk said, his name's really hard to pronounce. I've just been calling him Dr. Thor. <laughs> I'll post that next because that was just a scam. Anyway. For those of you that don't believe in demons, <laughs> you're in for a shock. I've looked into the eyes of people and saw hell. I was one of those people. I've been told by multiple people that back then I could scare the life out of somebody with just a look because my eyes would black out, just like you see on TV. Not the whole thing black out but your pupils get real big and it's like looking straight into the pits of hell I was that dude not no more if people don't believe in miracles you're looking at one like people think that miracles are healing and the blind walk seeing and the lame walking which that's all true too and that does happen people miss the small miracles 
the stuff that happens every day. I should be dead in prison for the rest of my life, at least, or somewhere in a crack house with a stem in my mouth. I was an addict to the degree that if I saw drugs on TV, I had to leave my house and go rob something to get high because my brain needed it that bad. I was that sick. And most addicts struggle. They go to AA, NA. God took all of it away. I am proof. I am a walking, talking, breathing, testifying miracle. Just me being here right now, being able to do this, is proof of God. Because no one but Him could have changed me. Sorry, I'm a nervous wreck. I'm working on the smoking. That's the one thing I'm, well, won't let go of yet. He keeps yelling at me about it too. Uh, this dream. I was on my couch, and I laid down because I was told. This sounds insane, but it's the truth. I get this voice in my head. Lay down. I want to talk. That's what I hear, and it's overwhelming. Tired comes out over me. It's not like I'm tired because I was moving around. or It's like my soul wants to go to bed. And every time it happens, I get his dreams. And just so you know, all his dreams are warnings. We're close. Way, 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 way close. I'm waiting any second. I'm going to make a video about something. It's going to probably be just as unpopular as that Christmas one, but it's the truth. And he's been pressing it on me and pressing it on me to the point where I actually could feel his sorrow at how many of his children are being deceived. And people aren't going to want to hear it. People aren't going to be happy with it. I didn't make it yet because I wanted to be sure. I asked him, please don't make me do this. I cried on my floor, please don't make me do this. I have no choice. Uh, the dream. I was laying on my couch. I went to sleep like I was told to. I was expecting to get a dream from him. And dream starts I'm in jail back in jail and I went from one jail to the next jail now I'd never been in this jail before but it was familiar like I'd been there before and I had two cellies and in the entrance to the cell there was a burning barrel with a giant garbage bag in it for some reason and we were in the middle of a shakedown they were doing the cell next to us for some reason this dude was messing with his air conditioner which air conditioner in jail I would have liked that place and I have two shanks in my hand. And now, when I was in jail, I never... There was a point where things were so rough that I walked around with an ink pen on me because I had no choice. It was that bad. It was... Like, in any minute, you could have just gotten dumped on it. But I never carried weapons. Just that one time, never had a shank. Never. And I had two for some reason. And the one was duct taped up, which duct tape in jail is unheard of too, but whatever. And it was funny looking. It was like the top of it was angular, like a diamond. I don't remember what the other one was. And they're doing the cell next to us. And now I just got into this jail, but I knew the guards. And this one guard walked by, it was a female, and I jokingly said with her something about, let us out of here, or da da da. And her face came down in front of the window of my cell, and it turned white and evil. It was a demon. as pure, and then everything behind it went black. There was no more looking out the window. It was this giant, scary, white, evil, rotten, horrific, Stephen King, it-looking face. That doesn't even do it justice. There is no words to describe 
the nastiness that this thing was. I got ripped out of the cell, and then I'm in my old apartment. And they grabbed me out of the cell, and the dream stepped right into my, I'm in my old apartment. I'm laying in my old bed, in the apartment above my grandmother's business, and I'm fighting hard. Uh, it still scares me. It was so real. I've, the only way I can think to describe it, I, I begged them yesterday to help me. I was so far off of where I should be. And I lay there, or I cried and cried and cried. And right after that, I said, please, what, 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 give, tell me something, please. And I click on YouTube, I'm going to lay down, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I have to go lay down. And for some reason, I thought, check, check YouTube. The first thing that pops up is this girl and her video is about spiritual warfare. It's just a coincidence, so. Now, back to the dream. It was so real that after it was done, I walked outside to see if there were footprints in the snow around my house. I woke up with marks on me. 